Welcome to the video tutorial of Fun and Functional. My name is Barbara Fernandez. I am a speech language pathologist, and my goal is to show you around how Fun and Functional can support children with speech and language in communication difficulties. It's also a great app to support children to learn about the functions of different words, items, and objects. Before you start, if we Let's click adjust here on the settings, the settings here. you will see that there are a few categories included on the app, electronics, kitchen, household, grooming, clothing, occupation, and also you can select the level between receptive and expressive. You can also see how many screens per, how many items per screen and what to do when wrong. You will see how this plays out as we select the game to get started. I have here three children on the app ready to go, but if this is the first time that you are using this app, you can add a new picture and a name and tap done. The app will allow you to have as many children as you need on the application. I'm going to go ahead and select Victor and click what continue. Do we use to cut the grass? The question is, what do we use to cut the grass? We had previously selected four images per screen. We are able to have it three or just two, depending on the level that the child is currently functioning. If children are having difficulty selecting the correct answer with four items, you can always change it to just two items per screen and slowly add more items on the screen. Who takes our order and brings our food in a restaurant? And this is a type of question that you see that it's uh, related to occupation. Let's see what happens when we click on the wrong items. It gets removed yeah! so that it gets it easier for what the child to select the to answer. Hang up our clothes. Yeah! What do we use to wash our hair? Yeah! What do we wring? What do we wear to stay dry in the rain? Yeah! What do we turn on to light up a room? Yeah! What do we sit at to eat a meal? Yeah! What do we swim in? Yeah! What do we use to take pictures? Yeah! What do we use to look up the days and months? What do we use to cut food? This is an example. All of these questions were examples of receptive questions with all the categories included. Tap on if a I student's done, profile to see, see their what report the app card. Is doing on the back end. The app is tracking that performance of that child. It shows the date of practice, the categories that they worked on, the items per screen were four, and the overall accuracy was 84. And every time that child has practiced, you can see their performance on the app. If we go back here to Let's the settings, adjust the settings and here. we switch to alternating, receptive, and expressive, and we can turn off some of the harder categories. And let's put just two items per screen. I want to show you how different the app looks, having a receptive and then an expressive component to it. What do we use to pound in nails to build or fix things? So as you see, it got a lot easier to get to the correct answer. Yeah! What is a hammer used for? And since we're doing alternating receptive and expressive, this, the, this is the expressive question. What does the expressive question do? It gives the child a question, and then the child has to give you the answer verbally. The child has to be able to come up with an answer of what a hammer is used for. And depending on your level of acceptance, you can accept all sorts of answers. It could be a complete phrase, or a short phrase, a long sentence, a uh, complex with a conjunction, a hammer you use, use to hang um, frames because you and then you can expand the sentence as you need depending on the level of that child the expressive does require the presence of an adult 
just as many of the Smart Ears apps advocate the presence of an adult for all of these different activities. Tap on a student's pro. That was it for a tutorial of Fun and Functional that is available on the App Store. You can use Fun and Functional on both the iPad and the iPhone. Just search on the App Store as you would any other app for the name Fun and Functional or the company name Smarty Ears to see all of the other apps that Smarty Ears creates for speech, language, and communication.